Yo, how is everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing horror game part 3. I know you guys have been really wanting to have a part 3, so I finally brought it out for you guys. Today we're going to be making these small keys that we can implement into our game. It's quite simple and easy and requires just two scripts which are very short, so make sure to stay to see those scripts. And guys, one more thing. Thank you so much for your support lately. My video just hit 500 views. And that's never ever happened to me ever before. So I'm so grateful for you. And guys, make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications on if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. So guys, without further ado, let's just begin. So guys, you should be in your base plate. This is what mine looks like right here. And we're just going to go straight into it. And what we're going to do is we might actually want to make a key. So just go to your toolbox. You could make your own key, but I'm just going to go to toolbox. And, oh, so that's my models. I'm going to search key in models. And I'm just going to take this one right here. And it's going to ask you put this tool into starter pack. Just make sure to say no. And you should see something a bit like this. Perfect. So now what we want to do is just go inside the thingy here. Just go inside the key. And what we want to do is we want to add a script inside the handle. So I'm pretty sure in every key there should be a handle. Um, and if there isn't, then that's a bit weird. But, oh, someone just knocked on my door. Anyway, so once you've written down the script, once you've inserted the script, I mean, this is what you can start to write. So in the start, in this, you can write local tool equals the script dot parent dot parent. And then, so pretty much what we're doing is script dot parent. So if we look at tool, tool uh, here, parent is handle. And, and if you go to handle, the parent of the handle is actually key. So that is the, the tool, and the, so it's pretty much a tool, so that's that's why. Um, so now we can go down to, we can write local function, click, sorry, local function, click, and then we'll do brackets, and inside this we'll put P, and then we're going to go down and we'll write tool.parent.game.workspace and then this, oh whoops, sorry, game.workspace and then I'm going to write this curly bracket thing and I'm going to write player.name actually I'm going to write p.name just like that because I have p here alright guys so after we've done that we can go down one again and enter up here and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go under the end now. I'm gonna write script dot parent dot click detect. Oh yeah, and also if I forgot, make sure to put in a click detector just like this. And then we can write click detector. And then we're gonna do dot mouse click colon connect to click. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and play it. And what's gonna happen is when we click on this or like hover over it or run over it it should go to our backpack so without further ado let's oh, oh whoopsies did not mean to press that so all right all right so in the game as you can see i'm just gonna go to first person i'm gonna run up to here click on it and there you go as you can see we've now got the key in our hand just like that so now that's the first bit done of this tutorial now we want to go on to the actual next bit so the next bit is actually Quite simple, we're going to make a, make a, making a door with a string value in it. So, set apart and make sure to scale it to the size of your door. For me, I'm just going to, I'm going to, if, if you go to plugins and you go to build rig, I'm going to do a block rig and I'm just going to, whoopsies, yep, get block rig. Oh, that's way too big. So, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. Right, so I've got my door now, and I can now delete this dummy, and I'm just gonna customize it, you know, to make it look like a door. So I'm just gonna make it wood. I 
I've now got a door with a nice looking handle and now we can move on to the next place. So inside your door, oh, make sure to name this door. And once we've done that, once we've done that, we can just go to door and, um, what we can do, yeah. So add a, what do we have to add? Yeah, add a script. Once we've added that script, we're gonna write script dot parent dot touched colon connect to the function of h once you've done that you can write if h and if h dot parent dot name is is equal equal to script dot parent dot and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do something to make this work so inside your door make sure to add in a where is it a string value it's just like that and name this to key value all right so now what we can do is go back to the script and write key value and then you're gonna write dot value and then you're gonna do press enter and, and then a then should appear and then you can go down and write script dot parent dot transparency is 0 0.5 go down script whoopsies script dot parent oh no script dot parent dot can collide is equal to false I don't know no, yeah no, no yeah false and then you're gonna go down you're gonna write wait for just like that and now you're gonna write again script dot parent dot transparency with a zero and script parent can collide is equal to true all right so once we've, we've done this now the last thing we have to do is so just close off these scripts that last thing we have to do go to the key value and make sure to change this to the to the tool name so for me it's key so i'm just going to change it to key boom so now guys we are done with this tutorial so guys before we play it quick thing that i've got to say is my socials are down below so if you want to go do join my discord server we've got a really nice community so if you want to join go to the description i've also got a link that will take you to all of my socials so just click on that if you want to have a look anyway so guys let's press play and see exactly what happens Alright, so we're gonna walk up. Ah, uh, whoopsies, I forgot to anchor that. One sec, I'll be right back. Alright, so now I've anchored it. And what I can do is. Where is the bloody key? Ah, there it is. So I'm gonna go in first person, just like this. I select this key. And now I'm going to. If I, if I walk to the door just like this. Oh my god, it's not anchored! Alright, so I'm gonna, I've spawned it one last time, and I'm gonna go get this key. Click on it. And then you can see if the if I deselect the key and walk into the door, you can see nothing happens. But if I select the key now and I walk into tall, you can see the door works. And that's exactly what we want. So now we just have to implement this into our game. So what I can do is I can actually open Roblox Studio, open a new file. Well I have open a new window of Roblox Studio, so I have two windows. Alright, so guys, once you've opened a new window, you should see something a bit like this. Um, I'm going to have the map that I'm using right now in the description, so you can have the exact same thing that I'm using. It just makes it way easier. So I'm going to go to my file that I have. I've called it Horror Map, and I've also spelt it wrong. Alright, cool. So once I've loaded in, um, or once you loaded in, you should see something a bit like this. This is the map that I've made. There used to be a corridor along here, but I thought there's no point. So I just made this thing right here. So what I can do to implement this, if you go to your if you go to your other one that you created, just take this door and right click on it and press copy. Now go back to here and press paste, and you should see the door appears. Oh my God, what was that? And you should see the door appears right here, uh, which is good, I guess. Um, yeah.
so just take the door and you can literally move it to whatever you want in the map I'm going to have it mm. well you know what I'm just gonna be simple and I'm gonna have it here just like this and if it doesn't fit the door frame I can always just scale it up alright guys and quick thing you might be wondering oh my god why is there no door animation it's really annoying well this tutorial is a bit basic and it's just the base groundwork of a horror game so I'm unfortunately not going to be making something like that but if you want me to make it then just make sure to let me know and I will make it if I can find some time to because you know I'm a busy man <laughs> the door to your door frame go back to the other document and select the key once you let the key right click copy go back to your go back to the horror map and paste it in once you've pasted it in just take that key drag it down to the bottom and you should see the key very obvious when you spawn Alright, so that's pretty much done. All I want to do is I just want to change one more thing. In the main game script, you remember we made it last time? Instead of having I need to find the office, we can have it actually have it so what you do. Sorry, this is from earlier. You can actually have it so instead you have. So instead of it having I need to find the office, you can have where am I? And then we can go down here, we can go find the key so the dialogue should say where am I and the key and the objective should say find the key perfect so now we can close off all these scripts just like this and now we can test the whole game to see if it's working this is going to be all the stuff that we've made added up get the key here you go it says key so I can now walk up to the door you can see that I have a flashlight as well so let me walk up to the door you see I cannot enter and then I select the key walk to the door and as you can see I can enter and it's working perfectly and after four seconds it goes back to normal so guys that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope to see you in the next one um, once again my socials are in the description and if you want any questions make sure to join my discord or leave me a comment down below anyway guys thank you for watching horror game part 3 and I hope to see you next time goodbye